evening students hope you all are fine and safe in this pandemic in the last video we start we started with the chapter nutrition in plants where we learned about nutrients nutrition and different modes of nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic today in this video we will learn about photosynthesis food making process in plants which is the next topic in the chapter nutrition in plants so let us begin here we will learn about how green plants prepare the food and how this food is transported to various parts of the plant in green plants the food is prepared by the leaves the leaves of these plants contain green pigment the leaves of these plants contain green pigment called chlorophyll that gives them the green color chlorophyll absorbs sunlight energy of the sunlight is then used by the leaves to synthesize or prepare food from carbon dioxide and water this process of synthesis of food by the leaves in the presence of sunlight is called photosynthesis photo means light synthesis means to make or combine thus leaves are considered as food factories or kitchen of the plant the food thus prepared by the leaves is stored in the form of starch here there is in front of you a schematic diagram you can see first point as it is given that plants draw up water through its roots then you can see the leaves take the carbon dioxide from the air through the tiny pores called stomata the leaves also trap the sunlight and the plants uses this carbon dioxide and water with the help of chlorophyll pigment that is present in the leaves and the sunlight to prepare food the plant releases oxygen into the air as a end product during this process and also it prepares sugars which is the food for the growth of the plant and also which is converted later into starch so here the definition comes what is photosynthesis the process by which green plants synthesize their food using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll photosynthesis can be represented in the following equation here we study about the raw materials required for photosynthesis what are they carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and sunlight we will study that elaborately carbon dioxide present in the air enters the leaves through the small openings on its surface and these small openings are called stomata singular stoma each of this stoma is guarded by two guard cells and several epidermal cells so here is the diagram of the stomata or stoma this is called stoma this is you can see the how they are guarded by the guard cells and surrounded by epidermal cells so next uh, raw material is water water and minerals present are present in the soil absorbed by the roots of the plants and are transported to the leaves the transportation of water takes place through the pipe like vessel xylem through out the roots stem branches and leaves so here comes the chlorophyll now another raw material the leaves are green pigment called chlorophyll it helps leaves to capture the energy of sunlight and this energy is used to synthesize or prepare food in plants sunlight the synthesis of food occurs in the presence of sunlight hence it is called photosynthesis already already told you what is photosynthesis it is a unique process on the earth in which solar energy is captured by the leaves and stored in the plants in the form of food thus we say that sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms products of photosynthesis so what do we get as a result of photosynthesis end products are carbohydrates and oxygen so we know that plants synthesize food in the form of carbohydrate during photosynthesis this is utilized by the plants for getting energy the extra glucose is converted into starch and is stored in different parts of the plant in roots uh, stem and fruits oxygen is released as a by product of photosynthesis and this oxygen is essential for the survival of all living organisms so 
in the absence of photosynthesis life would be impossible on earth so if you have any doubt please refer to your ncert books for better understanding and if any doubt please ask your query in the extra mark itself thank you